super tight clutch. Ah! <laughs> Fucking hell. Do you know what? That's better. Oh my god! How the fuck? I was pulling the clutch in then and it stalled. I literally, I eased off the throttle, pulled the clutch in a bit, just so I could turn the bar more, and it fucking stalled. There we go. Uh, big bikes, especially a carb bike. I'm not used to carbs. I tell you what, though, this thing it does go. That did have quite a bit of torque. I wasn't expecting that from this thing, uh, especially after obviously going on that 600 double R the other day. Uh, but I mean, you've got to you've got to take into consideration again. I've just come off my 125 onto this. Quite a bit of stick to it. <laughs> yeah, I quite like this. The shifter lever seems a little bit stiff for me, and, and same with the clutch. That's why uh, on the way out I managed to stall about three times because I uh, couldn't get the clutch right because <laughs> it was kind of all in or all out. And then uh, I got stuck on the ground a little bit, so just pulled the clutch in to, to turn the bars a bit and push my feet, pushing my feet, and I stalled again like a twat. <laughs> um, <laughs> And that was pulling the clutch in. It's, but I mean, I suppose it's the same again. It's a, I'm not really used to a car bike as such. I mean, that doesn't make a massive difference, but it's also the fact that, uh, I'm trying to think what I'm saying now, sorry. The, the clutch itself is very stiff. It's very, not. it's, it's not smooth. That's, that's the best way to put it. it. It's just kind of all or nothing. All right, let's have a bit of fun, shall we? Jesus Christ, the power, man. <whistles> Just see how quickly I overtook them things. I'm not sure if I'm actually changing gear or not. I don't think I did. No U-turn sign, of course. Ah, oh, they've called it off as well. Ah, oh, bugger. I'll go to the roundabout then. A little bit more intimidating. <laughs> where I'm not the fucking... I'm not very used to this bike. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the gear lever is very, very stiff. Assume that's first. No, it's not. What gear am I in? There we go. Oh, bugger. <laughs> not on this bike, you ain't doing that to me, mate. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, maybe on my 125, you'd, you'd, you'd have a little bit, but not today. Going on a bike like this, mate, you ain't doing shit like that to me. Trying to mug me off. Uh, bugger. Come on. What gear am I in? Same again, I think I'm stuck. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, Jesus Christ. I don't know what gear I was in then. As long as it gets me going. <laughs> them lights can fuck off. These lights always do it. 
It's like they don't want you to go round the roundabout. There we go, that's neutral. <laughs> I must have been swapping in between a uh, neutral and a, uh, I mean second and first, sorry. Let's keep going again. I'm in the wrong lane. Oh, fuck you. Too quick because of them lights, just for now. Uh, uh, uh. Right, here we go. Let's give it a little bit, shall we? See what this thing can do. It can do a lot, to be fair, a lot more than I can ever do. So, no, I've never actually come back this way before. I must admit this this bike's very grippy on the road. Whereas uh, on the on the little CBR, I can feel a lot of a. Uh... Wow, man, this bike has some serious stick on it. <laughs> it's very torquey. Even just a little bit of the throttle seems to really, really send you going. It's really nice. Uh, yeah, I mean, it seems, uh, as I'm saying, the tyres, I don't really feel much through the bike or the tyres themselves. They don't feel any unnerving. That's the, that's the best way to describe the 125. It's quite unnerving with the tyres. You can feel them sometimes sketching out a bit and stuff like that. Whereas on this, I feel like I'm almost super glued to the road. got some serious torque that's what I've noticed I mean obviously I wouldn't say it really I can't really compare them because obviously I haven't rode them straight after each other but the 600 definitely had a lot more smoothness to it um, and obviously it's, it's gonna have more torque than this thing has uh, and, and power because of obviously just the nature of the engine and the bike itself but this bike seems brilliant. I mean, it's, it's it's definitely quick. That's no dispute in that. It's miles quicker than my 125. A lot more power. A lot more uh, everything, to be honest. Yeah, it's a brilliant bike. Really enjoyable. So this is the uh, the SV 650S carb model. I'm not sure which year it is. Right. This is my second go on the SV. Oh, bloody hell. Hell of a lot smoother the second time. I was very, uh, not rough, but not very smooth. That's the best way to put it. The uh, first time on this. That's a bit of a bad shift there. The, the clutch and the uh, shifter lever is a bit stiff. Probably already mentioned that, but uh, just does make it a little bit difficult. So he's telling me I'm in second now. He's telling me get into third. Oh, there's a fucking truck over there, fuck's sake. Oh, of course, that car pulls out on me. What's behind me? Oh, one of them. So if I pull in here, I'll pull in the next one actually. I can give you a little walk around the bike uh, and then let the fucking let everything piss off behind me <clears throat> stands a little bit dodgy on this yeah it's a lovely lovely bike I was considering getting an SV myself but uh, I kind of just want to go for the a bike that I don't have to faff around with a restricting it's just a bit of a pain in the ass for me personally I just don't I just can't be bothered with it. Uh, I'd rather just get something than a... Uh, that sticker's so funny. It goes faster than the Smackers gyro. 
Uh, um, I'd personally just ha rather have a bike that's just kind of full potential kind of thing. Even if it's not as much potential, of course, as this bike anyway. That's just the way I'd rather have it. Just purely to just keep it simple. Because, uh, I mean, if I had a bike that was restricted, I'd want to de-restrict it, obviously, illegal. And then it gets all difficult. So I'd rather just have a bike straight off the bat that is legal, full power, no problems kind of thing. Is this Why is there so many things today? Like cars and lorries and oh my god there's more there's no point me going straight after one because I'm going to end up behind him in fucking second oh my god there's another one this is ridiculous all I want to do is have a little bit of fun and everybody else is getting in my way like you just just gun it come on mate and you your man lorry you wrote a oh, Hoya Hoya it's an oil, oil company I think or a petrol company, something like that. That looks fairly good. what he means about third gear at 30, that, that did go pretty well then. Engine braking on this bike's quite uh, quite good as well to be honest. It's it's a very uh, harsh but it is good at the same time. It's not harsh to the point where it's trying to eject you but it's not weak if you know what I mean. It is very good and the bike on the whole is really really nice. Uh, yeah it's lovely really quick a lot lot more power than I've ever had uh, in exception to the 600 the other week uh, I mean on the whole yeah very nice very fun bike to ride so are you gonna move over or are you just gonna stay in that lane he's gonna move over brilliant See, what it is, in my, my opinion, uh, a lot of people that ride uh, quite small CC bikes are obviously all really concerned with top speed or I'm faster kind of thing. And uh, I'm not like that. I'm more for acceleration. Uh, I mean, obviously, as you as you get onto a bigger bike, I knew these lights are going to change. That's why I took it easy. Uh, as you get for a, get onto a bigger bike, you, uh, you kind of just get like that. You won't really give a crap about... Um, top speed as much I mean obviously yeah everyone wants the fastest bike out there but uh, personally I prefer a bike that, that accelerates fast just purely because uh, at the end of the day if you've got a top speed of blah 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 and it takes you 10 seconds to get there I mean look how quick this bike just got to 70 I mean my bike takes Jesus God knows how long to get to that sort of speed and I mean I wasn't even really hammering this bike and it had done it that quickly and that's what I mean I prefer a bike like that CBR 600 double R the other day acceleration on that thing was bloody mental and uh, it was fun um, and I wasn't really bothered too much about the top speed of it just purely because I was having much more fun uh, blasting around acceleration wise Just purely because of what it does to your arms as well, you can drag your arms. And that to me is well more enjoyable, it's fun. <laughs> I like uh, I like it when that happens. Scary initially, uh, but it is fun. <laughs> <laughs>
mean, you can see what I mean. The acceleration, I mean, it is, it's giving me some serious force. Uh, I kind of want that car to just come along with me after these lights so that I can race him. Ah, uh, he's not, he's not. I can't race him. Bugger. There's a jag behind me though. He'd probably give it a bit of stick. If he gets past that van. Yeah, it's a fucking brilliant bike. I'm, I like it a lot. <laughs> Bye, Jag. You can see, I don't even know if you can see in that mirror, but that Jag's nowhere near me now. There is a little bit actually. It's a little bit uh, wary of the, the cornering just because it's a bit damp and uh, I know this bike seems a lot lot more grippier than mine but I don't want to be too mad on it. Uh, obviously, just in case, but I mean, you can see that. <laughs> I don't know the performance of a Jag really, or that one specifically, but it might not be giving it much, or he just can't, he really can't keep up. Or he might just not be bothered, like I'm saying. Personally, I wouldn't. If I saw a big bike, wouldn't even bother racing it. <laughs> uh, but obviously, I know a fair a fair bit about bikes and uh, their performance so I'd know right off the bat if my car, if I ever get one, would be capable of actually coming anywhere near it. Yeah, I mean I've really... Actually riding this has made me even consider it for, for my uh, A2. The only thing is restrictions. I, I really can't be fucked to restrict a bike. It's, this is not... It's too much ag for me, but this bike is brilliant. I really like this bike. If it wasn't the case of restrictions, I'd probably get it. Uh, it is really, really fun ride, really quick. Uh, acceleration wise and top speed wise, it's it's amazing, it really is. Really enjoyable. Um, and as well, the, the riding position isn't as aggressive as the uh, 600 RR, which is good uh, in some ways. It depends what you like. I mean, I prefer quite an aggressive riding position. And this is nice, it's, it's comfortable, but it's not uh, kind of overly aggressive like the CBR is. But I kind of, I, as I'm saying, I enjoyed that. Uh, just purely because I like that kind of style.